One of the great new features in the recent update of the iPads is to use Google Drive to upload files and share files. Here is a keynote that we have worked on and the keynote is done so what we want to do now is click on the wrench and we're going to share and print and you want to choose open in another app. Now depending upon whether or not your teacher wants to play the keynote as a keynote with all the transitions and things or whether they just want to see it um, and just be able to scroll through it a PDF would allow them to just scroll through it but you would lose all the animations that are done in keynote. In this case I'm going to do a PDF it will convert and create a PDF you'll see the blue button that says choose the app in this case I'm going to choose the open in Google Drive because I'm already logged in to Google Drive it will ask me if I want to upload it and I will say upload and I can show you over here by clicking on the uploads button it's uploading it and it goes pretty fast depending upon the size of it it's been uploaded now I have the ability to press on the uh, arrow to the right and it shows me what it is it shows me it's a PDF I can also add access to it so in this case I want um, to change it to can view because it's a PDF there's really no editing involved now if I know who I want to send it to um, I can send it to a teacher now unfortunately there is no way to stop um, an email being sent to the teacher so in this case Miss Donnelly is going to get a message from me when I press add you may have to type a little bit more of the address for it to show up automatically like this um, and remember here it always ends in at students.da.org in this case because I don't want to send a message to Miss Donnelly I'm just going to press cancel and also under the gear here you'll see that you have some other uh, actions where you can share again you can rename it you can move to a folder you can actually delete it from here as well I'm going to press close because I want to show you another way to do things so I'm going to get out of this app and show you how to do a share and print but in this type uh, we're going to do a keynote this is um, I think nine or ten slides so depending upon how many slides you have it's going to take longer or shorter choose the app I'm going to also open this in Google Drive and I'll press upload and it goes pretty fast depending upon how many people are doing it and the size of the keynote. So the upload has been 100% um, done. And you'll see that the icons are a little bit different here. So if I press on this to open it, it will attempt to load. And it will uh, find out that uh, the uh, keynote format is not actually able to be opened in Google Drive but you'll see at the top right hand side you have a share arrow and you can press open in and you can open it right in keynote again in this case I'm not going to open in keynote but that would be how you could uh, move it from one iPad to another if you needed to I'm going to press close because I can also share this just like anything else I have the ability to press a share and add people to it um, move it remove it rename it so this is a great way to uh, take those big files off of your iPad through Google Drive and share them with people some important information about Google Drive non Google files count against your total 5 gigabyte storage so do not upload too many files like movies keynotes PDFs or images you can also create documents spreadsheets easily in Google Drive now you can also set documents for offline access so you can edit them without being connected to Wi-Fi this is great for when you're traveling